Oh, yes. Do we have a good show? We got a damn good show. A damn good show. And we're going to start off our good show tonight. With something from the Rubin Report, which I'll probably won't take me that long, so I'll probably end up agreeing with most of it. Run. And then I saw Kevin O'Leary explain it uh, from Shark Tank. He was saying this is what every real estate developer does. They say my building's worth four hundred million dollars, and then exactly this is what every fucking real estate developer does. They say my property is worth X. The bank says it's worth Y, and they meet somewhere at Z. Do you know another thing that's completely legal to do? Say, uh, go watch the. You know what? I think I, I'm gonna I'm gonna bring it up. Um, this is from the Ninth Gate, which yes, I know is a fictional movie, but fuck off. Four volume edition of Don Quixote is quite nice, but not particularly valuable. Now, I could take it off your hands uh, right away. Mm, how much were you uh, thinking of? Oh, I couldn't go more than 4,4200 tops. <laughs> Fine. And right there, the old man got all pissed off. But the truth of the matter is, guess what? What Dean Corso did was completely legal and yeah blah 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 some of trump's behavior and someone comes all right i unbanned both brian hicks but unfortunately brian hicks thanks to jackasses i don't know which one to believe all right <laughs> Fuck off, shut up. I had both of them moderated, that's the problem. Alright, Brian Hicks, you've been a follower of mine for a while. I'm gonna give you 30 seconds to answer three questions. What is my stance on guns? I'm about ready just to unmod any Brian Hicks and just whatever. We all. Oh wow! I'm really gonna. I'm really gonna worry about some fucking loser trying to impersonate my mom. Look, this is the one I'm going with. If the other one is unmodded, if I start to see friends of mine getting banned, this one will get banned and the other one will be restored. That's how we'll play this out. So if you're going to attempt to fuck with me, you're in for a very long game. All right, the real Brian Hicks should be able to tell me my stance on guns. Saw that Always there is an point. oversampling of rural voters, but that is then weighted and adjusted. Every pollster does. Oh, yes, of course, you turtleneck wearing fucking fat. You hate the rural voters, even though without them, you'd starve to death. Because Lord knows you're not man enough to actually kill a cow to get your steak. And you don't know how to grow shit. Does this. 
And now we are going to see the entitlement of modern women. Interested in taking me out for this new year? I'm just gonna give it to you straight. If you're looking for a girl who's gonna take care of you or cook you dinner or gonna provide for you, you're not gonna find that here, okay? So what fucking value do you provide to me? Okay, I don't bring things to the table. You know what <laughs> I bring? I bring these good looks. Easy to get. This hot body and Easy to get. And an unforgettable personality. No, your personality is that of an entitled cop. So, yeah, you bring things that... Most girls are attractive. And most girls have a decent body. So you're saying I should pay a premium for a McDonald's cheeseburger. But that's about it. Everything else is pretty much up to you. And I like it that way. I'm going to keep it that way. Whenever I make. Yeah, good for you. And when you're dying alone and your cats are eating you, remember this video. All right, here's some guy dealing with some fat cows at a college. You've been told to move. You need to move back over to the Kirkhoff or we'll call and have you remove. Okay, old lesbian, old fat lesbian. If, if this is the the myth of female power. If I say no, you're not moving me by force. GVPD tells me to move, then I will move. You. He literally said, if the cops tell him to move, he'll move. Call the cops! Got to be kidding me. Yeah, because you know he has a legal right to be there. Somewhere in your dumb lesbianic brain, you know the cops will not side with you. Because it's either A, public land, or B, he's not on your property. But here's another dumb, stupid fucking twat that has way too much power go to her head. Um, she's asking this guy to move seats on a plane. I'm okay. You can ask me nicely. I don't have to move. And I know that. And no, he is under no legal obligation to move. Or if I was this dude, I'd be like, dude, I'll give you 200 bucks. If I can sit by my wife, the seats have the exact same price. I'll just give you $200 cash. Or a thousand or whatever. Easy for you. It's not my fault that you didn't know which seats to get. Yeah, and again, why didn't they pick a flight where they would be sitting together? Also, these are adults. And you're on a domestic flight, the longest flight from New York to LA is like four and a half hours. You can't be away from your wife for four and a half hours. You're not children. If you guys didn't plan it right, you guys didn't get seats together? This is last minute. Oh, it's last minute. Okay, sounds like your problem. Sounds like your problem too. Yeah, it's your- Exactly. It's your fucking problem. Your lack of planning doesn't matter. You guys Please. You know, a great way to do it, if the flight attendant really, really meant it, uh, give him his flight for free. If I really wanted to sit next to my wife uh, on a flight, I'd just be like, dude, how much you pay for this seat? All right, here's the 200 bucks. You get to fly for free, give up the seat. Cool. I hate this. I hate this entitlement that a lot of people have that just because they're a family or just because they're traveling with children or whatever, that they have the right to reconfigure the entire fucking plane. No, that's on you. Plan your trips better, my dears. Or just... Be adults and realize 
Oh my God, you're in park for four and a half hours. And that's the longest domestic flight. But even if it was one of the longest flights in the world, which is about 13 hours. Really, you're adults, you can't handle being apart for that long? Bigger than the woman. It's not about me feeling bigger, it's just about, I don't want a fat girl. It's unacceptable. Just like women don't want a man shorter than them, I don't want a girl big as hell. Yeah, by the way, women generally, yes, want to do taller than them, but be, a height is completely out of the male's control, whereas being fat is completely within your control. More than one way. Women, you, you guys have one job. Make sandwiches, what more, no, two jobs. Make sandwiches, be hot, three jobs. And don't be a whore. Not hard. That is yeah, exactly. Ridiculous. Fuck you, you fucking British cunt. So all you require from a woman, and you think all we're capable of as women, is making sandwiches, looking good, and what was the third thing? Not, not being, not a, being a whore. Not being, not a, being whore. a whore. Well, I didn't say that's all they're capable of. What I'm saying is that these are things that men tend to value. Women yeah, exactly. Make me a sandwich, not, don't be fat, and don't be a fucking whore. Easy, ladies! And this used to be so simple till so feminism had to fuck it all up. If you burn more calories than you consume, you will be thinner. When will SCOTUS decide Trump fade? About April. Just briefly talk about the Supreme Court thing. Yeah. Um, uh, just briefly. The Supreme Court has decided it will hear the, uh, the, 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 the case. Of the Who the hell is that old crow in the middle? Oh, God. What crypt did they drag that bitch out of? They have the question. It's going to be decided now. What really sucks is is uh, Emma here. She looks like a really sweet girl that just got sucked into leftism and now she knows she can't escape it. And she's just almost resigned herself to her fate. There's no life in her eyes. She's dead inside. She knows her eggs are going to dry up and blah, blah, blah. I am going to bet it's going to be the last one that we hear. I don't know. Maybe the Lord of Patriarchy needs to send the Knights of Testosterone to save her. Yep. And it's going to be in like the first week of July. Mm -hmm. I'm going to guess it's going to happen. I don't know off the top of my head what day July 3rd is. But yeah, well, excuse me for wanting to save a young lady from the death of feminism. Or the slow death of feminism where she dies and she'll just be eaten by her cats. My guess is what but whatever the closest. <sighs> Emma isn't a goddamn lesbian as far as I know. I mean, I don't know. Maybe she likes girls. In which case, odd, she'd be fired from the Young Turks. So is this just Dolly Parton's daughter or something or... Uh, but the reason they need to rule for Trump to have presidential immunity, because if he doesn't, then that means Barack Obama needs to be brought up on murder charges. So that's where I'm going to end this. We're all afraid of different things. Heights, spiders, failure, you name it. I fear nothing. Ah, I'll take that back. I'm afraid of things, but I'm willing to meet them head on. But some of us... Nope, don't fear women. Because, again, not a one of you can kick my ass. Scared of green olives. Bring out the... I do not fear Islam.
I do think Islam needs to be dealt with. I think Islam is incompatible with the Western world. Um, but I'm not afraid of it. Reaction, But nonetheless, this little girl did strike the fear of God into him because I guess he felt like he was bamboozled by her. So let me explain. Aaron Reed. Um, okay, unless you're gonna, you're gonna say this, but I would be reporting this mom for child abuse. Look, if, if, if the whole thing is just he's wearing girly clothing and has long hair, fine, whatever, who cares? If he's on puberty blocker, then I would report this mom for child abuse myself. Q plus rights. Another reports. senator passed by. Republican State Senator Cardin Summers, the primary sponsor of the state's bathroom ban bill. Little did he know. Because puberty blockers can forever affect a person's ability to have children in the future. Which is a big deal to a lot of people. Again, if she's letting her son, daughter, whatever wear girly clothing, have long hair, whatever. Fine, I don't care. But if she's giving her puberty blockers or him puberty blockers, then yeah, I got a big fucking problem. Again, the hair, the clothing, I don't give a shit. That's all cosmetic crap. I still would discourage it. But if they're really hellbent on it, fine, fuck it. But. Hello. That's when Kotler spoke to Senator Summers about how she was there with her kids to talk to legislators about keeping her kids safe. Although she did not mention that one of her children was trans, they were present with LGBTQ plus signage, something the senator apparently missed when he knelt down in front of Alex and said, according to Kotler, well, you know, we're working on that and I'm going to protect kids like you. Kotler then replied, yeah, Alex is trans and she wants to be safe at school. She wants First off, a kid that young is neither gay nor straight. They don't have their sexuality yet. Okay. I was way older than when I got, when I, st when I went from girls are gross to say that's fairly decent. I want to see less clothing on that. I want to see that doing unholy things with the same thing as that. He wants to go to the bathroom and be safe. That is when, according to multiple witnesses, Senator Summers stood up and fumbled his words, repeating, I mean, yeah, I'm going to make sure she's safe by going to the right bathroom, continuing to use the correct pronouns for Alex. When asked if he would make her go to a boy's bathroom, he then allegedly backed away, saying, you're attacking me, turned around, and walked off quickly. So I... Well, without video evidence of this, I guess I'll have to take your good word for it, and because you're a leftist, Mike, your word means about as much to me as sandpaper, so yeah. I imagine that his response was some because again men historically have not given a shit when women have come into our bathrooms i understand when women have a problem with us coming in there but much like sports yeah every time i've been at a sporting event every time i've been at a concert at a big event and you get that line at the ladies room because i don't know why the fuck it is impossible for women to pee efficiently. Um, you you always have the, the couple girls that run in screaming, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, and close the stalls that are really never you being used by guys. Or if we are, it's um, open door because we're just taking a piss.
We line up at the trough. Yeah. Now, you know, we're joking about him being afraid of this little girl and whatnot, and that's all well and good. But in actuality, I think that he walked off quickly because I was... Oh, yes, they do, because if they don't start it by this point, it'll be... At puberty blockers are absolutely useless. But imagine it's really difficult to look that little girl in the eyes after vowing to protect her once you find out that your policy will actually harm her. He wants to force that. Uh, no, that actually, the 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 boy you presented didn't really present all that feminine. There was no pretty pink dress. There was no. Okay, we're at two forty five. Let's go back to one thirty six. I could easily see this being a boy that just happens to have long hair. There's nothing overtly feminine about it. And please don't tell me that femininity goes down to goddamn hair length. There's no makeup, no nail polish, nothing. Like, what, is a little horn dog and just wants to see girls' pussies? Again, commendable, but you should really get permission before you do that. I'm not seeing anything really feminine about this kid. That little girl to use the bathroom of a gender that she doesn't identify with, meaning that he. Mike, I can identify as a billionaire. It doesn't make me so. Your gender is determined by what you have below your fucking belly button. It is not determined by how you feel. It could subject her to bullying and harassment by her peers. And if they don't know she's trans, that is her classmates, she effectively has to out herself by using the boy's bathroom. So a, a boy with long hair, no one's gonna give a fuck. All right, I'm done with this. Once again, Mike worries about nothing. Uh, this is a criminal defense attorney explaining the depraved lawsuit against Vince McMahon for sex trafficking. WWE. The theory is that WWE is vicariously liable for the conduct of McMahon because it was within the corporation. It was in the context of... You know, but I, again, I, I have another question to ask. Um, how much money did McMahon pay this bitch and was she fine with it at the time? Because again, pay me enough money, I'll suck Kevin Spacey's dick. You know, that's the thing. That's That was my big question with Harvey Weinstein. How many of these women that were allegedly assaulted by him were at the time perfectly willing participants. Now look, I know Harvey Weinstein has never been an attractive man. But that being said, how many of these actresses willingly sucked his dick for movie contracts? Let me tell you, and again, it could have been like Lauren Bacall. She was old when I was a kid. And she just said, you lick my pussy and I'll sign you to this contract, which will guarantee you $20 million a year, every year. Fuck out of Vaseline to my tongue up for that shit. Well, this is the problem. 
Vince works like a hundred hours a week. And he does it all for the WWE, WWF. He does not have time to run a sex trafficking ring. This is just a bunch of bitter bitches that probably blew their money and now with the fucking Me Too movement can get some fucking clout by saying, oh my God, he degraded me and humiliated me and forced me to perform sex acts on him even though... I was perfectly fine doing it at the time. And on an altruistic note. Again, I'd like to point out. Do I think Harvey Weinstein's a piece of shit? Sure. But again, how many actresses and how many young 24-year-old actresses right now would willingly suck and fuck Steven Spielberg's crusty, rusty dick right now for a movie role. And trust me, give me enough money, I'll do it. Yeah, yeah, Harvey forced me to suck his dick, but it only led me to a career that pays me $20 million a year. Oh yeah, you're such a fucking victim. And then as but yeah, I mean, yeah, I like, yeah, I, 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 yeah, he, 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 he coerced me into sucking him off. Oh God. It only led to a career that paid me $20 million a year. God, fuck you. You got compensated. You were just a whore for a minute. You can't let's, you know, that's my biggest problem with this case. The farming of her out. Vince McMahon, we can clearly and all agree, is an alpha. Alphas don't like to share bitches. There is no way Vince McMahon farmed her out. This whole lawsuit, once again, depends on the, the, the paradigm of believe all women. Well, I'm very sorry, but I don't believe all women. And I also believe women are adult humans, therefore capable of lying. Not so long ago, my niece lied to me. I said, did you take an ice cream sandwich out of my freezer? No. Even though she was covered in ice cream and chocolate. Basically. So when he's doing this, he's grooming her. Giving her, making her feel good. Making her feel... Except... Grooming isn't really illegal unless somebody's under the age of 18. You know this, my dude. Himself around her, and then how he'd open up his home to her. You, you <coughs> get the gist. Oh, God, I, I swear to God, I'm going back to just videos. Um... Yes, I live by myself, but yes, I have people over fairly often. And they had their first sexual encounter, and he dangled this employment over her head, and she didn't feel like she could say no. So what does he do? He goes down on her. He performs oral sex on her, and he says to her, that's what I've been waiting for. Okay, wait a second. No, 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 no. Okay, just going with psychology of males. That's bullshit. The man never, especially a man like Vince McMahon, never goes down first. Or ever. I I, I will just go with myself personally. I've never gone down on a chick until she's gone down on me first. She calls for forced fraud or coercion. If you're dangling something over somebody's head, fuck me or you're going to lose your job. That's coercion. One of the things that... that not necessarily. But again, we're going with her her statements two years later. Or, or, or however many... Again, why didn't she immediately bring this to the cops?
And you are you are aware that women can fucking lie. Now look, if Vince did something wrong, then fine. Nail his ass to the goddamn wall. Over and over again. And she says she felt compelled to comply because she'd lose her job otherwise. And she was reassured that the photos she was providing were just remain private and were part of their secret world. Okay, so anyone with half a brain would know that is well outside of a normal employee-employer relationship, except for maybe the porn industry. Um... That said, again, she sent them of her own free volition, and how long was it before she filed the police report? Again, no, I, I don't I don't do this where somebody can be like, you know, some boss forced to uh, coerce them into fucking them ten years ago. And then now I'm supposed to give her sympathy. Well, no, it happened 10 years ago. Fuck you. Obviously, you were fine with it at the time. His... And all you see here is a, a way to destroy Vince McMahon because, I don't know, you hate professional wrestling or something, or you're just a stupid fucking beta male fat. Sick desires fulfilled by his slave. And that's really what the sex trafficking statute is really designed to protect against. McMahon was most aggressive when using certain sex toys named after WWE wrestlers and performers. He named this toy so that the color... Oh, I, I heard this. I, I made fun of this, too. And I don't believe Vince would do this. Vince is too much of an alpha to be fucking some chick with a sex toy. Also, for us men... Fucking a chick with a sex toy means nothing. We have a dick. I'm sorry, but the amount... Th th this makes absolutely no sense. When did he find time to do this? So I've got to go take a whiz, and I'm sorry, but I don't believe that. Actually, no, I'm not sorry. I, I proudly say it. I don't believe this fucking c You know, and she wanted health care paid for because they fucking ruined her body. Ruined her fucking body, made her bleed, you know, did all kinds of really nasty things. We're going to get into a little bit of that later. Oh, good, good. You have proof that they did that. Be because you're going to need that in court. You know, proof. Because I can't imagine a dildo being sold on the legal market that would fuck up a woman's ability to have, have a fucking child. Because it seems to me that a lot of lesbians use them all the fucking time. And they're just fucking fine. Lawsuit? You thought the punitive damages in Donald Trump's case were a lot? So what, 65 million impunities? Not going to be anything compared to what you're going to see here. When we get to paragraph 133, paragraph G. <coughs> Assuming Vince is found guilty. Right now, I'm not seeing a compelling story. In May of 2020, so a year after she's hired, he recruited an individual who he manipulatively referred to as his friend to engage in a threesome with McMahon and Miss Grant. The friend turned out to be McMahon's physical therapist at Alternative Clinic and is referred to hearing as a physical therapist. You know, people like to do that. Okay, is that a woman? Because I really don't view Vince McMahon in a devil's three way. Vince is a lot like me. There is under, there is, uh, under no circumstances... Would I ever, I don't care how drunk I am or whatever, there's no way I'm participating in a devil's three-way. And if you don't know what a devil's three-way is, just use your fucking brain. And what do I think you still think Andrew Tate is guilty? He insisted the plans were already made and suggested he would lose a friendship if she didn't go through with it. Ladies, 
don't ever let a guy convince you of bullshit like that. On the day of the... Tr- oh, God. Don't ever, don't ever fucking believe nice guys like this. At least we're honest about our intentions. At least he, he'll he just try to cloak and dagger his shit and get you in fucked up shit. Keep in mind, McMahon's a big guy. After Miss Grant clearly stated she, she wanted to back out, McMahon responded by telling Miss Grant for the first time that he loved her, stunning her into silence. I love you. Oh, I fucking love you. He led her down the stairs to the bedroom where the physical therapist was and already... Again, was she willingly walking down the stairs? Because if she was, well, then she was just a high-paid hooker. He to perform for his friend. While Miss Grant requested protection, none was offered. McMahon and the physical therapist actively continued with threesome and directed Miss Grant's sexual performance for an hour or an hour and a half while she was left covered in feces. Who the fuck does that? I love you. I love you so much I want to shit on you. I mean, come on. Honestly. He says, in a, in a text message, and this is why I would love this lawsuit. Because- go, go, good. She has proof of this. This is just her statement. She has no proof, no video evidence, no, no nothing to back it up. Just her good word. Again, you're a defense attorney. You're supposed to know these types of men. They wouldn't do this. Men like Vince McMahon do not have three ways with other men. That's a sign of weakness. Other women, fine. But not other men. God, you are such a fucking soft piece of shit. Because she's got all the text messages. And notice she's got all the dates, the exact dates when this shit happened. I love it. That's you, Janelle. You just can't get enough, can you? In the future, it's going to be so bad that you'll demand to be fought twice a day, and not just with blank, whoever blank is, in a three-way. Why not let others see your beautiful, luscious body and watch you shake uncontrollably when you... They'll go out of their minds. Then I'll find more friends and we'll tie you up so you're helpless. I'll direct them to have their way any way they want. Who can... Okay, so that's basically a BDSM thing. Whatever. Fine. I don't believe this for a second. I don't believe this was was sent by him. Vince McMahon is an alpha. Alphas don't share their toys. Can make you scream. Alphas love to say what their toys are, but they don't like to share. Again, Vince McMahon is an alpha. He is not going to fucking have another man in the bed. I mean, I don't know, unless Vince McMahon was secretly gay all this time, which would probably get him off. But no, alpha males do not have another, sigma males don't have another fucking bitch. I don't have another male in the bed. We can have another bitch. Meanwhile, Vince is uh, flying all over the fucking world. Running the WWE. And this stupid cunt could have left at any time. Seems to me she might have been a bit of a scorned lover. Is is that not possible, you dumb motherfucker? Now look, I'm gambling on Vince's sexual proclivities. For all I know, he's really into the devil's three-way because... I don't know reasons. And maybe she did it. But my thing is, she had a long time to leave. My thing is, is I think she was perfectly fine with what was happening to her at the time. Assuming it happened at all. And that, because remember, she comes 
with not a shred of evidence other than her good fucking word. Oh, she has text messages. Well, I'm sorry, but text messages can be fake. I am very sorry, my dude, but if you want, if you want me to believe, I'm going to have to do a part two on this. The relationship, and it's not a relationship. He's got. If he is this much of a sexual deviant, then it would have popped up earlier. And you're telling me, and I've seen the the woman in question. And she's about a five when it comes to WWE divas. You're telling me that with women that were way hotter... Vince, the sexual deviant, who just wants to force women to do whatever he commands, in the face of way hotter women, just showed self-restraint? Yeah, me thinks this be bullshit. Alright. I have to do a part two on this then. I can't go anymore. Get out, everybody.